how to dispose of feng shui items broken old kiosk wallet the practice of feng shui has benefited many people across the world as an ancient chinese practice feng shui embraces useful elements and principles that govern life and promotes the ultimate flow of positive energy into a space everyone desires to have luck luck serves as crease that eases tension or friction in a nutshell feng shui can influence everything around you so stay connected with us till the end of the video and if you like this video then don't forget to like and subscribe this video and press the bell icon and comment despite all these amazing benefits of feng shui feng shui items expire after some time just like everything has a life span feng shui items have a life span in this video we provided suitable steps that will guide you on how to dispose of feng shui items properly the following topics are discussed how to dispose of old wallet feng shui how to dispose of old feng shui kiosk how to dispose of a feng shui bracelet how to dispose of broken items in feng shui how do i cleanse my feng shui items why you need to dispose of old feng shui kiosks and items feng shui kiosks are materials that represent the feng shui five elements that help to enhance or boost the positive energy in the house they also ensure that the five elements are properly balanced and effective Over time these feng shui kiosks get old because they absorb negative energy According to feng shui kiosks can serve for a year Apart from enhancing positive energy kiosks protect you and the surroundings of your home against bad energy In other words they serve the definite purpose of seeing your home and environment energized with good luck and energy if you want to terminate a cure an old cure it should have spent a full this is the reason you need to dispose of the old feng shui cure and get a new one This is necessary to enjoy the flow of fresh energy and make feng shui effective. Getting a fresh new cure is the best. Don't clean them, rather dispose of them and get a new one. So how do you dispose of your old feng shui cures? According to feng shui it is suggested to choose an auspicious date to dispose of the kiosk to do this you can go through the feng shui calendar to know the date after ascertaining an auspicious date the next is to put them kiosk like salt water or old item inside a closed bowl pot or container you can also put them inside the plastic bag and dispose inside the waste bin How to dispose of feng shui bracelet Bracelets are magical talismans able to attract luck, prosperity and happiness. It is symbolic in feng shui. Despite its amazing benefits, a bracelet absorbs negative energies too along the time and that is why you need to discard it. To dispose of it, put the old bracelet inside nylon and wrap it carefully. Then dispose of it inside the refuse or garbage. How to dispose of broken items in feng shui? In feng shui, it is suggested to dispose of broken items. The fact that those items help to attract positive energy and dispel negative energy once used auspiciously, because these broken items have attracted good luck to you and your home. they should be handled and disposed of with respect their disposal should not be done casually or disposed of anyhow use the methods below to dispose of them 
put them inside the right paper that is properly wrapped and be grateful to them for fulfilling their purpose of existence. Proceed to dump inside the garbage. You can bury or even burn them after giving thanks to them for protection against negative energy and bad events. Then bring in the new cures that will aid in promoting your wellness and surround you with positive energy. How do you cleanse your feng shui items? Cleansing your feng shui items make them more effective and removes any stagnant energy as a result of dust that has gathered on them. Cleansing your feng shui items can be done using the following methods. Number 1. Clean by using salt. This type of salt should be coarse to achieve the desired result. Make sure you pour the salt inside the water to dissolve and then use the water to clean the items. Number 2. Cleaning your feng shui items should be done gently to avoid being scratched, scrapped or damaged. So when it is time to rub salt on the items or wash them with salt water, do it gently. Cleansing enhances the potency of your feng shui items. It shows you truly care about them. Number 3. After cleansing your feng shui, spread them outside where they can receive natural light such as sunlight. Number 4. Feng Shui suggested the use of mantras with your Feng Shui items to make them more effective. Number 5. Apart from the use of mantras to make your Feng Shui items effective and lively, make use of saffron water. It is regarded to have a mild effect and is very powerful. To do this, first place your saffron water outside and allow staying for 3 hours to receive the morning sun. Number 6. Then place the items in the saffron water that is outside. Saffron is easy to get these days because they are readily available in various stores offline and online. Order for it. Thereafter, rinse and mop them down with a clean, dry towel. So see you next time with another new video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you will get notified about latest videos. See you again. Till then. Bye.